So I figured I'd start this one a little bit differently today. Um, somebody in the comments legitimately asked me, hey dude, is that a bra? You know that pretty much all we talk about is the Second Amendment here and, and you're asking me if this is a bra. I mean, that's a pretty badass bra if it was, but no, dude, I haven't had a sex change and uh, I don't skip chest day, so I don't, I don't need a bra, but thank you for checking in. I truly love reading the comments though. Y'all are a bunch of savages and, and no, uh, no harm done here. But this whole Texas versus the feds thing is really kind of getting out of hand. Once again, there have been people that have said things from, oh, get ready to eat a hellfire missile to, oh, we'll federalize your national guard. People calling for Biden to just pretty much have a military action. And I hope people really understand that. If Biden decides to federalize the National Guard, that is considered a military action because at that point, they belong to the federal government, at least on paper. Who knows what they do? They'd probably tell them to fuck off. But if he federalizes them, that is a military action, which to my understanding, in order to deploy federal troops, on the homeland, you would have to declare martial law. The other question I have before we get into today's stuff is why now? Biden has almost been in the White House for four years and it has been an invasion for four years. So why is Governor Abbott doing it now? Once again, the same question could be asked for why is Governor Abbott on the World Economic Forum's website? It just seems a little bit too coincidental that it's happening right now before an election. Like, I know they were trying to do stuff down there, but this should have happened as soon as Biden got in and stopped building the wall. So it's a little bit suspect. Anyways, so there was some lady who went down to the border. Uh, I don't know if she lives in the town. I don't know if she's just been on her knees for Biden and, I don't know, Kamala. That's probably not the right term. Um, Biden and Michelle Obama, that would make more sense. If if you know, you know. But she goes down there and decides to give the Texas Guard just a piece of her mind. Look, over the past couple of days, I don't know if you've been following the controversy between me and some people I work with and a concealed carry insurance, but everybody's feelings are real ignited right now. Mine aren't, but a lot of people's feelings are. And I just have one thing to say especially to this woman. Nobody gives a f about your feelings. If you need someone to care about your feelings, get a therapist. If you aren't presenting facts, if you aren't saying this, this, and this is what happened and here is the proof, nobody cares. No one cares. And this is something that this lady needs to learn, to say the least. Here we go. And at least you can make that concession for us, put the guns away. That's, so that's something we cannot do. It's Texas state law during a Texas military operation. <laughs> All right, so you're asking the Texas Guard to put their guns down. Why don't you go up to just a American-loving patriot in Texas, not in the Guard, and ask them to put their guns down and see what kind of answer you get. They're probably gonna say, ma'am, are you high? Are you okay? Do you need me to get somebody for you? Are you okay? What are you talking about? Put your guns down. They're protecting our border. And that is what is happening right now. This a Texas military operation. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Shame on you. Why is this a Texas military operation? Do you see anything? Do you see an invasion? Come on, guys. I swear to God, YouTube needs to start lightening up their uh, rules so we can show a cartel member just cutting off somebody's head. That's what some of these people who are coming over do. It's what they do. But all these people are like, they just want to come for safe haven. No. Not all of them. That's the whole point. But continue, ma'am. I mean, you've started off great here. Ma'am, that has nothing to do with hey. me and my personal beliefs. That comes from the governor's office and people way higher than I am. Respectfully, ma'am, we're not here to argue. Thank you, sir. Good answer. Um, ma'am, do you have you not followed the news? Have you not seen that there has been over, I believe, six to seven million people who have tried to come in? What would you call that? Other than an invasion. Let's let's switch this around, ma'am. What happens if six to seven million ants randomly try to get into your house today? You leave the door open maybe, or maybe you leave a nice apple pie on the counter. Would you call that an invasion? Would you call the pest company? Would you have the pest company spray something around your house to essentially build a wall to keep the six to seven million ants out? I think you would, but no. Of course, all these people are in their feelings and aren't concerned with the facts. Well, what about the president? Doesn't his word mean anything? Ma'am, we are sworn to 
the office of the governor. And what about that president? What about him? You know what he did today? He went to a barber shop. That's what he did while we're being invaded. So what about him? Office what about the United list. States of America? Are you, do you swear allegiance to the United States of America? I swear allegiance to the Constitution and that of it. Okay. My man spitting facts through this fence. Amen, brother. The Constitution. That's what we answer to as a country. Sure, we have elected officials, but they're sworn in too to protect it. And unfortunately, I guess that's a lost art nowadays because none of these elected officials really care about it. They care about their own agenda. But this young man, good job, sir. Well, that says the president has a right to tell you all to... And until, ma'am, until we hear uh, an order given to us by either the president or the governor, we have to stand guard on all our current set of orders. Okay. Um, Again, we So, we, we like I said, okay, clarifying, I can bring 50 people here. As long as we give you our IDs, we can go pitch a, a, a tent over there and have a picnic. Is that correct? If that's what you want to use the park for, it is your, it's, it's your uh, prerogative. What? This whole thing was about having a picnic in a park? where there is a Texas military operation going on. Why would you want to do that? Look, ma'am, I know you, you probably just don't understand this, but nobody really cares what Joe Biden says. The people he works with probably don't care what he says. The people behind the curtain most likely tell him what to do, and he rambles it off like he's talking about something else. And that's all he does. But just to be clear, Joe Biden has put America in a very tough position because right now the Middle East has a big stick. They have a big stick. And guess what's happening with our military? They're letting dudes cut off their sticks and saying, oh, I'm a female now. Somebody asked me about the process and things that you need in the army to get your gender changed, which I'm more than happy to share with y'all. That's the difference. That's what we're dealing with with Joe Biden as president. We have all these other countries just laughing at us. Minus Canada. We're like maybe a little bit above Canada due to Trudeau. I mean, that's pretty hard to beat. I mean, can you imagine what people in Mexico are thinking when they're coming across the border? Like, these people are stupid. They're sitting there eating a burger. You know, the other day I just walked across the border into the U.S., waved at a federal border agent. He gave me a thumbs up, and then I just came in. What are we... What are we doing?